everyone and welcome back to part 52 of the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge. So there are a few things I want to get done before we officially start this part. First, uh, we are going to jump into cast, change out some stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The stuff meaning that I'm going to change out Desiree's last name without realizing after the marriage. I guess she had taken after Marquise's last name and I did not at all notice until like a couple minutes ago. So we are going to change that out and uh, we're going to change Marquise's last name as well because let's be honest, it's the 21st century. There's no written law that the girl has to take after the guy's last name, but in fact, we can do it the other way around, especially when we're trying to carry down the name Whiteley throughout the 10 generations. All right, so let's have her do what she needs to get done, and then we'll jump into cast. Also, I did change out the bedroom just a little bit. I redid the furniture colors and added in a dresser. When I have more time, I do want to build them a more luxurious closet, like a ginormous walk-in closet. That's always my dream. <laughs> and um, also, I forgot to mention, while we are in cast, I am going to change out Desiree's body appearance. We are going to get rid of those muscles and add in a little weight because we've been struggling to get her fat and we had no luck so far. So screw it. I'm going to cheat. Hope you guys don't mind <laughs> or don't disagree too much. But let me go ahead and turn on my cheats along with the cast, the full edit mode. All right, so when she's done, we are going to jump into Creative Sims. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? There's always some broken appliance. Someone always breaks something, but I guess it's understandable since the toilet and the shower are used the most. All right, so we are going to go ahead and first we change out, change it back, not out, change it back to Whiteley. And then uh, Marquise is going to take in after our last name. Or Desiree's last name because it just sounds cooler. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and add on a third outfit so I can remove some clothing off her. I guess I have some default uh, CC clothing. Alright, so we're gonna, you know, simmer down the muscles. And uh, she's not going to be like super skinny, you know, where she looks like a chopstick. But we are going to add back some weight on her. I think that's good. And, uh, you know, she still has some curves. Actually, let's tone down the muscles. And if anything, we'll have her work out to gain those muscles. Alright, so I think that's good. And I also did want to add on a third outfit for her. I wanted that apron. Yes, here we go. Alright, I wanted to add something really cute. And I mean, this is pretty much what Scarlet had on as well, but... Or actually, let's try the other one. Where is the other one from? Here it is. Cool kitchen stuff. Actually, this one looks good. I like the red color. And uh, we're going to add on some shoes. Oh, Tom Toms are perfecto, and we'll change out her hair next time. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do as well was to finally use my MC Command Center mod, which I had installed a while back, but I never fully understood how to use it. And uh, we're just going to give it a try in this part. Pretty much what it does is it gives you the ability to control other sims that are not currently in your household. So that's what we're going to do with Sebastian and his wife, Adina. Because I want them to start a family, but it just doesn't seem to be happening. And it's been a while. And then eventually we'll move on to the other siblings like Delilah and uh, Gustavo and so forth. You know, pair them up with a life partner and you know have family of their own. But that's going to be later on. We're just going to start with Sebastian first. So, which meaning that we are going to Sebastian's house after she finishes repairing the shower. <laughs> I'm like a little lost for words today, if you guys can't tell. Alright, so you know what? We'll deal with that when we get home. 
So let's head over to Sebastian's and you guys can finally see up close the house I had remodeled for them along with um, Delilah and Stella's too, but I'm not going to show that one today. We're going to see Sebastian's new updated crib if you guys haven't watched my renovation video yet. I pretty much remodeled their home, gave it a whole new look, very expensive furnitures, so I'm excited to see that. Alright, let's go ahead and knock on door. Oh, here's actually uh, Dina Whiteley. Alright, so pretty much here it is. We have a very modernized uh, kitchen, a living room, bathroom, all black and white. Up until the bedroom, we have a little color to it. And then uh, when Dina is done, let's go ahead and... Oh, we actually haven't even introduced ourselves yet. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I thought they had, you know, at least met each other at the wedding venue when, you know, they got married, not Desiree. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the command center. So this is pretty much what option it gives you to control the other sims and this work on any any sims especially the ones that are not in our household so you get to do all this but we are trying to get her pregnant so let's see um i think it's pregnancy start so immediately you start pregnancy for dina whiteley using sebastian whiteley as the other parent enter the number of babies to generate maximum three or leave blank for random so we're gonna do a completely random one and uh oh they are having twins, one male, one female. Very interesting. All right, so we're gonna set the pregnancy phase to second trimester. All right, then we're gonna go back and cancel. Let's see. Yep, so she is in fact showing already. If you guys can't see, her tummy is bulging out. And we actually have the option to ask baby's due date. So it does work. I wanted to second... Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so again, tongue twisted. I wanted to set it to the second trimester so we can ac actually see the belly bump. Whereas the first trimester, you don't really see anything, so we don't know if it works. But it does, in fact, work because we do got the interaction to ask to feel baby, ask for baby's due date. So not too bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to know her a little bit. Uh, I think it's. You know, we kind of should get to know our sister-in-law. We shouldn't be completely strangers. Oh, Desiree's jealous. And you guys are probably wondering, when is Desiree going to have a baby of her own? We're going to wait a little bit, like always. <laughs> All right, so we'll chill for a little longer, get to know her a little better until Marquise get off work. So let's see. We are still acquaintances, but we are actually co-workers, so she is an expiring chef as well. Interesting. Alright, we're going to go ahead and brighten day. Uh, let's do some funny interactions, because her fun meter is going a little low. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, tell a joke about mimes. <clears throat> but, um, uh, why did I click that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like a little off today. Well, that's pretty much every day, but today I'm more especially off. Like, my mind is just not in the right place. Uh, but if you guys uh, are really interested in this MC Command Center mod uh, and you want me to do a tutorial on it, feel free to let me know because I haven't done a tutorial in a really, really long time and I kind of miss it. <laughs> oh, you know what? We actually do need to go home. Go home and uh, repair our shower that we just left as is. Alright, so let's get our stuff done. Oh wait, we did repair it. Holy cow, I am so off today. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and scavenge for parts and then mop up the puddle. Yes, I know, it's very, very messy. Very, very, 
very dirty uh, let's go ahead and throw away and you know what we're gonna go ahead and upgrade on the water flow regulator so Marquis should be home very soon and he brought home 288 simoleons I'm surprised he hasn't earned a promotion yet I thought by now he would have got promoted I don't know what's going on with that but we will be following him to work tomorrow to ensure that he gets a freaking promotion. Yes. Alright, so I don't think much is going to happen other than him getting his needs taken care of and then he's going to go to sleep. Whereas Desiree is, um, I'm probably going to have her work on a handiness skill, you know, better enhance or improve the, the skill level she's at. So she kind of, you know, has the ability to start upgrading all these easy to break appliances. So that's what I'm going to do and I will pick back up probably the next day. Good morning! So it's the next day, bright and early. Uh, Mark Queens will start working about four hours and I actually had uh, Desiree upgraded our toilet to a superior flush. <laughs> I don't know if it will work, but we will see. Alright, so when he is done, we are going to grab some food. Desiree, uh, why don't you help me harvest all? And then uh, grab some food yourself. So while we follow Mary Queens to work, Desiree will stay back and uh, just work on her handiness skill. Because I think, yeah, she doesn't have work for another, technically, one day. It's not really two days. But she is off. And I'm really hoping that she will earn her promotion the following day. Because it is uh, a requirement for us to pass on to the next level of her aspiration. Alright, as for you, let's get you focused before you head off to work. And, uh, oh, she probably will need to start cooking, huh? And clean out spoiled food. Oh, and there's a dirty bowl here. So you guys are such slobs. If I don't tell you to clean, you just will never, ever clean. Dude, seriously. <laughs> He's gonna get juiced before he heads off to work. Alright, so... Alright, so he is going to be starting work very, very soon. I'm trying to fast forward the time. And we are going to follow. Alright, so we already read this before. We're going to go ahead and skip it. Oh, did you not use the toilet when you were at home? Doing nothing, getting juice the whole time. Alright, so first thing we need to do is invent the momentum conserver, which we already did actually, but... We'll go ahead and do another one. Ooh, we can invent a Simray. Huh, maybe we'll give that a try. If it comes up in the opportunity. Because I do want to try. Alright, so come on, dude. Let's get a move on. Ooh. I still think this looks like Iron Man kind of technology, you know? <laughs> Okay, so after he's done with that, we're going to practice uh, analysis. And I think it's on this machine. Yes, I was right. Alright, come on. Go, go, robot. Go, go, go. And ba-bam. Aww, he petted the little robot and said, job well done. Alright, I guess we gotta put in our inventory again. Mix synthetic food serum. Ooh, we've never done that before. Let's see. Um, ooh, red hot. Drink the serum to make your sim angry. Why would I do that? But we will do this. Uh, we need one basil. Is there any basil in here? So we have bluebell. We have daisy. Strawberry. Rose. Snapdragon, but no basil. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and purchase seeds. I think it's a herb. Is it a herb? Let's see. 
go ahead and open seed packet. Yes, we do got a basil. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make this basil one. You know, after he's done practicing. Or, there we go. When that interaction gets completed. Brainstorm on invention constructor. Alright, we will do that after he gets this done. Thank you for ordering. Oh, the garden stuff. I was like, what? What did we order? Alright. Ask a co-worker for crystal. Ooh. Can we ask her? Ooh, ask for crystal. So we will ask her that when we're done. Or actually, let's ask him. Since he's, you know, oh, actually. Uh, I guess we should have just asked her. Gosh darn it. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Ask for crystal. What the hell was that? I, there was something about spoiling something. Oh, where'd that interaction go? I've never seen that um, option before. Gosh darn it. I shouldn't have exited. Oh. Homie, did you drink it? Why won't it work? Oh, he failed the experiment. Hey, dude, she's right there. Where are you going? So I guess we got to redo it. Dude, I thought he drank it. I was like, oh, did he drink that serum? Like, why would you drink it? Untested. No, let's not drink it. Dude, where, where is he going? <laughs> where? Are you stuck? Um, what? 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 Alright, I think he might be stuck. You know what? Let's do this again. Ask for Crystal. Come down. Dude, he is like pissed. <laughs> he is so pissed. Alright, did we get a Crystal? Yes, we did. And let's give this another try. Gossip about co-workers with Morgan Jones. Ooh, don't chew out your co-worker now. Wait, she is Morgan Jones, right? No, that's Claudia. Oops. That's not who we want to gossip to. Oh, here's Morgan Jones. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and gossip about co-workers. Not the best thing to do. Let's be honest. Gossiping is never a good thing. Dun, dun. Oh, really? Did you failed again? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go ahead and brainstorm. Go, go, go. Oh, he's getting hungry. Oh, you know what? We can't eat this, right? Eat parsley. Okay, we're gonna go and eat the parsley. Let's eat the parsley first, because you're hungry. Wait. He wanted to make, you know what, we didn't even need to make the red hot serum. I totally misread that. That was my fault. <laughs> Dude, we could have probably accomplished it. Alright, after he's done with that, we are going to brainstorm. And he's almost at the full bar, which is, which is very, very good. Because we do need to earn that promotion. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. Ooh. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and stay late because we want to try and get a brainstorm going. Or better yet, you know what? Since we already completed this, I want to actually try and invent the Simray. So we need one metal and one crystal. So you know what? We're gonna ask our co-worker for it. Let's ask him. Oh, we don't even know him. Come on. Do our friendly introduction. Oh, he is all blue. Alright, so we're gonna ask him for a crystal. Will he give it to us? Yes, we got a crystal. Now we need a metal. Let's 
ask for a medal. All right, so we got one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and invent a sim ray. All right, let's try to get this before our times run out and we are forced to go home. Ooh, fancy. Look at all those gadgets. I think the robot's gonna put it together. All right, we only have a little time left. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, we completed in time. I know you're hungry, sweetie. I know, I know. All right, but you're actually gonna be heading home in about 40 minutes. Probably enough time for you to grab something to eat. So I wonder what this does. Oh, we can't even use this. Pointless, completely pointless. Dude, right when he makes food, it's in a microwave. We gotta go. We gots to go. Alright, but nevertheless, we are finally promoted to a junior tinkerer. Whatever that means. Uh, we now make an additional 7 per hour for a grand total of 39 simoleons per hour with the following bonus of 256 flying saucer, table lamp, and new clothes. Alright, so home sweet home. We earned our promotion. And you know what? I totally forgot to tell Desiree to work on her handiness skill. Oh my goodness. I am just not all here today. Alright, so we're gonna go and grab some food and watch some television and most likely I'm gonna go ahead and spend uh, some time with the Sims to put them to bed off camera and uh, so when we pick up in the next part it will be a brand new day. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part here. Hope you guys did enjoy this part. It was somewhat eventful, kind of messy because I'm just not all here. I don't know why. Don't ask why. <laughs> but uh, like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And I will talk to you guys in the next part. Bye everyone!